We've reached the point in Affinity Designer where I'd like to spend a little bit more time showing you about the pen tool. Now this is your primary um, designing and drawing object. Now there's a really good help file on this. If you press the if you press the question mark in the top of this page, up it comes. Now we'll type in here P E N T O L Pen Tool, and there it is. Drawing lines and shapes pen tool. Now the pen tool is used to precisely draw lines and shapes. Now because this is an iPad, it doesn't show up really well on there, does it? But never mind, we're going to work our way through it. There are four modes, pen mode, smart mode, polygon mode and line mode. Now pen mode is the most powerful and precise mode. It's used to create Bezier lines and shapes with smooth or sharp corners and nodes. Smart mode, why don't we always use smart mode? Easily create flowing lines and shapes by tapping and placing nodes. I know all this doesn't make much sense at the moment, but it will. Polygon mode, the next one, used to draw straight lines with sharp nodes and shapes with straight edges. And line mode, used to draw single segment straight lines. And there you've got pen, smart, polygon, and line. And there is any number of settings to go with it. Edit mode, mode, width, color, use, fill, um, and so on down the list. But we'll go to those, we'll get to those as we get to them. Um, but meantime, don't forget, there they are, right there on the question mark, at the front of your screen. Now, what I'm going to do, I've created a, um, a document here, that one there. It's simply a blank document. I've got one artboard in there, and that's the one we're going to use. So stand by, and we'll do a bit of drawing. So let's begin by taking a quick look at drawing using the pen mode. Now what I want to show you is how you use in pen mode, how you redirect the line and the curves in the line. And it's all controlled by the end points, the control points if you like. So let's get a pen mode going. There's pen mode, the pen tool on the left. Now I've got a purple line there, you can see that that there that's near enough and it's one point wide it's the pen mode not smart mode or any of the others at the moment just pen mode and let's make that two points wide so we've got a good clear line now we're on pen mode as you can see so let's put a point there and a point there and you can see they're joined up it's a straight line but if I put my pen on that now you can see the vertical bar and I'm bending it that way and bending it that way now you can see that the lower point of that line where that lower point is that's what's attracting the curve in the line so if you want that curve down there this would be a lot easier to get that curve very accurate if you had your grid lines um, displayed so you can see what's happening there you can see that now the pen is of course way off the page there but that's all right we've got a very deep line so let's just get that to about there and you can see if I bring that along there where the point is below there now the curve is attracted to it out there and so forth and so on and we can put it above the line so long as you don't let go of it everything will be fine and there's our line there's a curve now I can let go and just tap there now we can have a look up here What am I looking for?
I'm looking for deselect. The move tool and the node tool. Let's see if we've got... Never mind, it's disappeared. That's okay. Let's just drop out there. I put, I just pressed outside the bar, you see, outside the artboard, and it puts that line in place. Now, what I want to do is draw another line below it. Same pen tool. And we've got that part highlighted, not the curve we were on. And we've got a two point line again. So let's put a point there and a point there. Now what I want is, I don't know what you'd call that shape, but you can see again it's controlled by that bar, which I put my pen on that, on the right hand node of the just draw and line, and that allows it to move out like that. Let's go to select mode, there's our line drawing. We'll just tap outside the box, and there we go. Nicely drawing up. Now that's using pen mode. You can see it down the bottom there. The zero point width to start with, because I haven't put a width line on there. So let's try this again. We'll put a, a third line in. Pen mode, and we want two point width. Oh, why is that not? <clears throat> Make sure that's selected. Make sure that's selected, and do that. Now we've got two points. I hadn't selected the top artboard, you see, so it didn't know where it was supposed to draw the line. But what I want to show you is something different. We'll put a point there, we'll put a point there, and we'll put a point there. Now that one is drawing that way. And there's, and you can see it draws a line to it from the last active node, which in this case was the center node. Click select and that, and we've got one of those. I would strongly su suggest that you experiment with these. Now you see that's the top one. I can turn it off and turn it on. Turn it off, turn it on, turn it off, turn it on. Now that's just a quick look at drawing with the pen mode um, and drawing some lines. One more quick one, pen mode, Select it up there. Let's change the color to uh, that blue will do. Put a point there and a point there. You can see the marks telling you how far it is away from your existing object. And there, that's all there is to it. I'd suggest you spend quite a bit of time experimenting with this because it's difficult to get used to, but once you do get used to it, um, you will find it, be it becomes easier and easier. Okay, for this moment, that's it with that one. Little introduction. Now, as I just mentioned, I was looking for the deselect button. So many buttons on here, you can't remember where they all are. But having found it, let's make sure I've got the artboard selected. And you can see all these objects are in the artboard. Artboard selected, pen tool selected, two point, blue, let's make it bright green. And I'll make that three points wide. 
So we've got a bit of distinction between it and all the others. And you can see the pen tool up the top right hand side. The brush has changed to green. There's our pen tool selected. Now let's draw a line from there to there. We'll bend it a little bit. Pen mode, you can see how that's drawing quite an odd shape there. But deselect, bottom left hand side, you can see there's a trash can. There's the snapping option is selected. The little cross above it, that's deselect. Just tap on that. And you can see the line is now deselected. So off you can go. You can do anything you like with that. There's the little curve there. Let's deselect that one. Back to the artboard. Tap outside. Oops. There we go. That's all there is to it. Remember the deselect, that means you can put another point on the board, on the artboard, without it continuing on from where you left off with the other one. If you've just drawn a line when you're finished with it, deselect it before you begin the next one. Otherwise you'll end up with lines all over the place.